So hey guys, I'm back. Um, I actually did a wig swap with Miss PLU 561 and we've actually had these wigs for like a really long time and neither one of us has just had the time to actually film but now that we've got it together we're actually going to film and we're going to be releasing the videos at the same time so you guys can see both the videos. I'll leave the link to her video down below though. Um, so here's the box. We both did uh, three wigs each. Um, we both ordered from HairSisters.com the same day and let's get into these wigs. So the first wig that she sent me is Danity and this is by uh, Equal. This is a lace front, the Brazilian Natural Lace Deep Invisible L Part. Um, the color that she sent me is OP61327. So it's supposed to look like this. Um, I actually told her when I first tried this on that I freaking hated it because the roots, look at the roots. The roots look blue or gray, which is really, really weird to me. Um, it does have dark roots along the perimeter, but it's not dark roots all the way through. Um, how we based our selection on what wigs we sent was actually the wigs that we wanted to try ourselves. Just we swapped them with the other person. So let's see. Let's see if she'll be getting this one. <laughs> so this wig does come with two combs right here. A comb in the back and adjustable straps. And I'm going to put this on for you guys. Oh, I should probably take my bun out, right? <laughs> I'm actually just going to move my bun down. So I'm just going to move this down a little bit. I'm just going to bring it back here. And it's really loose. Now, this wig would actually be really perfect if the roots were not a freaking mess. I'm going to turn my light up a little bit. Do you see these roots, y'all? They look kind of black right here. Let me turn it down some. These roots are like blue. Do y'all see that? But other than that, this wig would be absolutely perfect. The hair is soft. Um, the style is actually gorgeous. Um, I really, really like this wig. It does shed just a little bit. I have like one little hair. But other than that, this wig would have been perfect if the roots were not like this bluish tint to it. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, this wig is pretty long. I want to say it's about 20 inches. I'm going to sit up for you guys. So yeah, it's about 20, 22 inches. Um, this wig is really, really gorgeous. Just, I'm just so upset that the roots are like this. If I can figure out how to get these. See, like, the roots aren't like this right here. They're like a brownish tone. <coughs> And then the roots are, I don't know. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous wig. I probably would purchase this in a darker color if I'm going to actually do the ombre. Um, just so I don't have to worry about if my roots are going to come out with this grayish blue color. Um, but like I said, other than that, this is the perfect, perfect wig. Um, I would probably just do it all black. Because this looks really realistic, especially if I was to put some concealer in the part. So that's Danity. Again, this is the color OP61327. Really, really love this wig. I just, oh, I'm so upset with the roots. Oh, this would have been perfect. Like, up there with Zen. This would have been a perfect wig. Okay, so next wig. Okay, so the next wig she sent me. This is Krita Girl. I thought about getting this wig for a long, long time. This is Krita Girl. 
by um, Freetress. It's actually draw, a drawstring full cap, complete style in one minute. And it says that this can be heated up, but you probably wouldn't want to heat this up. Um, this is in the color F1B32360. So it's supposed to look like that. Um, I have no clue on how to use a drawstring. Um, so that's something I would have to look into. Now, let's get into this wig. I did try these wigs on already. I'm going to take my hair out because I'm going to have to bring some of my hair out. Even though it says a full cap, sometimes it gives off the illusion of a half wig. So I'm just going to put this on. And I'm tucking my hair in in the back. Okay, so this is supposed to be a full cap. And this is really, really pretty. Let me turn my cam my light down some. This is really, really pretty. I really, really like it. Except for the fact that it looks wiggy if you do not pull your hair to the if you don't pull the hair to the front. Um, what I would probably do is I would probably cut this to frame my face. I'm really, really liking the color because I don't really do color hair, but let's see. Can you see that? It looks kind of wiggy right here. I would probably pull my hair out just like I said to, um, sort of like a half wig, but I, I'm really, really into the curly hair for the fall season. So that's what I've been looking into for the most part. Um, so yeah, if she's looking to get this wig, I would definitely get this. This is really, really cute. You just have to play around with this wig and you're going to have to frame this to your own personal liking because it is a lot of hair and it's, the more you play with it, the more bigger it's going to get. So that's why I said you're going to have to like frame it to your face. But this really is pretty. Like this is long in the front. But it's gorgeous. I really, really like this wig. So that's Krita Girl, guys. Um, I like this. Ooh, girl. I just probably need to pull my hair out. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But y'all know I'm not a middle part girl anyway. So I can always hide this full cap part in the front. And if someone knows how to do the drawstring, leave a comment down below because... I'm completely clueless on how to do a drawstring. So, anyway, Krita Girl. I'm really, really feeling this color. The color's coming off as red. In person, the color comes off as like an orange color. Um, so, again, this was Krita Girl. I'm liking this wig. I'm just in love with curly hair right now. Um, I think it's perfect for the fall and for the winter so I don't even want to take this off like I'm really really liking this okay so anyway next week oh it's stuck oh no oh no oh, oh poor scalp okay the next week she sent me is also a equal wig which is a drawstring and full cap this is called Style Girl, and she got me the color 1B. And all these wigs are heat friendly, guys. And like I said, if you guys know how to do the drawstring, leave a comment down below because a girl don't know how to do the drawstring. <laughs> so let's get into the last wig. And I'm taking it out of the, the weaving net. Okay, so I'm just going to put this on it does have the long comb in the front a comb in the back there are no adjustable straps um i'm just going to put my hair in a loose bun like i always do you know what krita girl this color is red now that i'm looking at it so it's not orange it's like an orangish red but it's really really cute anyway Back to style, girl. I thought this wig was absolutely perfect. Now, I'm going to adjust this. I thought this was really, really cute. It is kind of wiggy right here. I would definitely pull my hair out 
um, because the hair is kind of like flipped right here so it stands up so I would definitely pull my hair out for this wig um, it is super super long I love the wavy pattern um, this is one of those wigs where you really really have to take care of it because she is super long like this is about 24 to 26 inches so I really really love this wig like the the wave pattern is just awesome but like I said right here you're gonna have to well I would pull some of my hair out because like I said you don't want it to look wiggy you want it to look natural um like I said before if you guys know how to do the drawstring leave a comment down below um other than that I am loving her wigs that she picked Danity just really really let me down um I was like oh yeah another 613 wig uh oh uh oh, uh -oh. and then all of a sudden I saw the roots and I was like what what happened what what were they thinking but for the most part the rest of these wigs were absolutely gorgeous and again this is style girl in the number one B absolutely gorgeous so if she's thinking about getting these wigs she definitely needs to be careful about the color selection but so far I'm loving these wigs um, as you guys know, uh, we actually, me and Miss PLU561, her name is Sophie, we actually talk all the time. So, <laughs> this is like not the norm. Hey! So, this is just like not the norm for me. You know, you guys know, I don't do collaborations like that unless I really, really uh, trust that person. And, and she's just amazing. Like, I freaking love her. Like, I can relate to her with so much. So, this was her idea. And I thought this was really, really cute because I've never seen someone do a wig swap. So, look out for more videos from us, guys. And if you like these hairstyles, I will leave a link for these down below for you guys. And you guys know what to do. Comment. Like it. Share it subscribe oh yeah and one more thing um you guys know that the giveaway is ending really soon and if you guys have not read the description it does say that I'm going to actually um split the prizes into three so I know I said I would do one person get the accessories one person get the sunglasses and one person get the makeup but I'm going to split it into all three so some people so all three people will get some accessories a pair of sunglasses and um, they will also get two eyeshadows because I said I would give out six so you're gonna get two eyeshadows per person so I just wanted to clear that up because I'm not sure if you guys have read the description but you guys have until August 10th which is Sunday to actually enter in the giveaway and I will be emailing the winners um, I might announce them I'm not sure uh, you guys let me know if you want me to announce them or if you just want me to email you you can leave that down below too but other than that we're gone say bye bye you gonna tell them bye bye tell them bye 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 okay see you guys later